Oh boy, welcome back everyone. Here we go again. Um, this isn't going so well. As I said, I'm not so great at being Britain, but um, uh, House of Tudor has happened. With the union of Charles I and Mary, we have gained not only a spouse, but also a new ally in the realm. The Tudor is an old and influential family, and their seat in man is a jewel of the kingdom. Of course, friendship has to go both ways, and Mary will be expected to speak to her for her kin, while our kin will be expected to uh, consider such advice very carefully. Everlasting friendship. Seat of strong aristocrats. Local unrest in man. Uh, but less missionary strength and monthly autonomy. Okay. Uh, England is a new heir. Edward works for me. Mary is now our queen consort. So, it's not all bad, because now we have an absolutely amazing king. Um... <laughs> oh, excuse me, I forgot to, I forgot to, there, yeah, words, and uh, now we're going to get that military tech with the tactics three years earlier. This war, France, is not over. In fact, 39%, hmm, we're so close to forcing that union, and I really want to, um, but for now, let's quickly go ahead and fix my army here. So consolidate regiments, shift consolidate, will take all of my guys with 0 or 500 and we will get them somewhere relatively safe. Any mercenaries that don't have enough men I will just go ahead and disband. So create a new unit of the, univers uh, the universities, wow, the mercenaries. Uh, which do not have enough fighting power. I'll leave the guys with 500. Uh, delete these. 22,000. Yeah, I'm well aware. Uh, we will go for some more Latin medieval infantry. Two, three. Uh, I'm going to have to take a, another loan. In fact, I will take two. Um, how many loans do I have? Two at the moment, so I'll take another one. Uh, only because... I can pay them back. I will have war. Re well, no, I won't because they'll be my vassal, but they'll be paying me extra tax. Uh, there will be other ways for me to get that money back. Money is a transient thing, and setting myself up before the French can get their ideas is sort of my main concern. Get a bit of cav, um, and then we will go back and take them on. Yep, I'm aware of that. Can't really do much about it at this moment in time. I'm not sure what Burgundy's doing. France over here has less men le uh, but more cavalry we are getting a ticking war score up they are, oh they're over there why did this have to happen to me what did i ever do to deserve this i know i promised them a count declaration for lancaster pretenders well, the, the war of the rose now there are further nobles reclaiming house why why have you done this <laughs> oh geez thanks for thankfully uh i have less uh, my english tradition gives me less unrest um, and provincial unrest wise 16,000 English pretentia they want to Carlton who the hell is Carlton never mind um, it's only two provinces and it will take 15 years for it to spawn because of the fact that I have these traditions and my advisor which gives me much much less of a chance oh, fuck. Fuck, don't take that please don't take the capital uh, much less chance of having issues, so to speak. You're going to York, aren't you? We'll not let you have York, because we are House York. I'm going to take another crossing penalty. I didn't let my morale recharge. We're going to lose again. <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, Kildare intervenes. Send Pretender in Pale. Why? Oh jeez, this is all going wrong. Um, I think I'm going to have to quickly peace out France. Very quickly peace out France. Uh, clear offer. I can't get the union with France at the moment, can I? Oh boy, well, I will humiliate them for the power projection. Uh, I will get war reps for... Oh no, I can't do that. Well, I will humiliate. Is there anything that Burgundy has? Which I can give them. I can't give you anything, Burgundy. You've not done anything. Can you release a nation, maybe? Like Orleans? No. I'll take charters from them. Very... No. War reps and charters? God knows I'm going to need it. Paris? Can I have Paris? Not Valois in Paris? Please? I really want Paris. <laughs> no, it looks like I'm having charters. Um, 
take all their money? Like, all of it? They must have taken a hell of a lot of loans so that would be able to give me that much. So we will have war reps, uh, and we will take charters from... It's not what I wanted. Um, thankfully, I was able to uh, not get the War of the Roses last time, but this is going to have to be enough. We've, we've hit them around. We will get some power projection out of this, I think. Yeah, four. Not really enough uh, to get the, 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 the plus 50 things, but we are making 11 military power, which I think is going to be fine. Uh, a truce until 1457, so 10 years' time. That's fine with me. Send the demand. Okay, so... Oh, I, I've got a thing. What did I do? Install an union through a succession. What well, I didn't, did I? France will cede charters. France will be forced to give reparations. France will pay for... Uh, Alan will result in... Yeah. Uh, with the restoration union, England suffers a base. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think they're my uh, mine. I don't know why I got that achievement. They shouldn't be mine. Restoration of Union. No, you didn't give it to me at all. I don't know what you're talking about, game. I don't know what you're talking about at all. Right, you're going to be very upset with me because I didn't give you any land. Oh well. Uh, let's make charters a core because it costs more. Uh, your corruption is growing. You don't say. Because I'm overextended. You guys are. You form of diplomat France spy network. I'm not surprised. Uh, do that. Select. Get rid of all the guys with less things than they are able to fight with. Select that unit. Send them over to Cornwall. Don't go that way. Fine, Kent. And then the rest of them can just consult their regiments. That's fine. You're going to be not very useful. Get your morale back. <coughs> oh, jeez. These these rebels are... I need to take the speed down. <laughs> Local support for York in war. This is most welcomed. Local unrest in man. Uh, I get a good harvest. Gain 50 admin power, please. Um, help me with the coring of Nantes over here, which I can now do. Um, because that's going to cause issues for me if I don't. Don't need you on, don't need you on, don't need you on, I don't need you on. Uh, I'm starting to wish I had some more forts in England, though. Very much wishing that I had more forts in England. Oh... Let's get rid of you, because you are just going to cause issues if you are left alone. You are too weak to be fighting. I mean, I've got 24 stang. That should be more than enough to deal with these guys. I've just had some very unlucky battles, aka I charged in without doing anything. Alliance is breaking with Burgundy. They really don't like me now. Why is this? Minus 919, trust minus 1,000. Oops. Oops. Can we have a... Ah, if they're going to break the alliance, I won't go for the royal marriage again. Just quickly put the speed up. Oh, no. He was my uh, unrest dude. <laughs> he just died. That could be an issue. We might have some unrest <laughs> issues. Jeez. Uh, we might have some issues. <laughs> we have many issues, actually. More than a few issues is what we have. Let's go kill this six stack. Um, there's going to be a river crossing, but it's only 6,000 men. We should be able to handle this more than easily. Why do I suddenly have less morale? Anyway, never mind. We're going to win. Kill them all. Send them to the chopping block. Filthy, filthy rebels. When are you going to take that? Not for a while. That's fine. Oh, they got York, which is going to give them more autonomy. Something like that. <coughs> was it just more unrest because they were occupied by rebels? I don't... Yay, we now have Gloucester. Lucky us. We're uh, 19 and 5. What are you guys like? Not doing so great, actually. I'll keep an eye on the regiments and I'll send them... Oh, um... You... Uh, create a new unit of all the heavies. Select this unit. 
and go over there. You lot, you are going to select mission, protect trade in the English Channel. Thank you very much. <coughs> Great expectations. A political marriage is much a union, blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, the Tudor family expects the king will heed the advice of the queen consort and actively look after their and his interests. Hmm. Anything for our dear queen consort? Gain one base tax in man. Lose a hundred admin power. Nope. Sorry, no special favors. Lose ten prestige. Twenty <sighs> percent local autonomy in man. I don't have the admin for this. Fine, just fine. No special favors. Autonomy it is. All right, go kill him. Where's a, a river crawl? There's quite a Scarborough, York, and Cumbria. So wherever I go, I'm gonna get a river. Most welcome support. Yay. We're going to win the War of the Roses. Diplomat from Scotland. I don't care. Is my alliance still breaking? Yep, there we go. <laughs> Just as I say it. Tyrone, no thank you. Austria, would you like an alliance? Because you hate France. So, maybe you'd like an alliance. Uh, would you also perhaps like a royal marriage, Austria? My, my new friend, most welcome. Am I winning this time? Oh, we didn't get... Yes! Yes! Finally! Oh, finally, I got an achievement as well. Combined arms have both an admiral and a general with a trait. Lucky me, he got ruthless. Yeah, be ruthless with them. Murder them all. Let's go take York back quick while they shatter retreat away from me. Uh, these are my heavies. I will mothball them. What is my ship capacity like? Uh, we're actually all right. I have too many men at the moment. Oh, they're only there. I've got to kill them there. I've not got morale back yet. Just murder them all. Rebel leaders captured. Part of them, I would lose 10 legitimacy, um, but national unrest minus 1. Or I can execute them, get national unrest plus 3. I'm going to pardon them, I don't mind losing the legitimacy. Um, that will hopefully give me a better um, better chance at uh, not being murdered horribly by rebels, which is going to be an issue. Nobles disgruntled. The nobles so far stood by the crown during the War of the Roses, expecting to be generously rewarded. There is a growing opinion among many of them. There has so far been a little recognition of their loyalty. Uh, lose 85 ducats. Uh, nothing but their duty. Uh, I will lose 85 ducats. The rebels scare me. I'm a very scared boy. Very scared indeed. Terrified, in fact. Um... Oh, I'm going to get Lancaster back and then I'm going to have to go get Pale. It's only seven. I should be able to just go in there. Why? What is this bar filling up? I'm not sure. I will have a, a penalty of minus two. Where's my leader? Oh, he's not there yet. He's just decided. Ulster interview. How dare they? Fuck. <laughs> that is just the worst luck ever. Oh, why? Oh no, don't you go. Just let those guys die. Let those guys retreat. Oh, jeez. That is just terrible luck. So terrible luck. Did any of them survive? No. No one survived. <sighs> okay. Can I take a loan, please? Thank you. Um, Laughlin, can I have military access? Thank you. Oh boy, mercenaries, fighting medieval mercs. Da, 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 da. I'm not going to bother with cavalry because it's expensive. I'm just going to. Leinster, thank you, Leinster. Appreciate it. I'll oh, recall cool from there. We don't, we don't need Burgundy anymore. Uh, it would have been nice to have them for the next French war, but oh well. Is going to be my general attitude to to their attitude to me. I mean, if they wanted land, they should have sieged it. I can't give them what they haven't sieged. You know. <coughs> you guys can come up here and get this rebel province back. Ten thousand. 
Families left behind. The recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Uh, can ease the tax burden? <sighs> Fine. I've already got less manpower, so we'll just carry on with less manpower. Hurry up, you. Come on. G. Yep, go over there. We'll view it once. Come on. There's going to be a fucking river between here and Laughlin, isn't there? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh boy, this this game went a lot better when I wasn't recording. Seema is relocating to Gloucester. Oh, they're, they're actually coming over towards me. Fulmer out. Charge. Go on, Charles I of York. Nobles disgruntled. Oh, come on. Local support we removed from Coventry. I don't care, Coventry. I, I don't care. How am I losing? Please don't lose. Chester has come into the occupation of England. Oh, thank God for that. Don't lose. Don't lose. They're rolling, they're rolling so well. Oh, finally. Please take it. Just take it. I, I'm, I can't be dealing with this anymore. I, <laughs> so many rebels. <laughs> so many rebels. I'm going to be seeing rebels in my nightmares. Uh, claims uh, there's underhanded rogues in S Scotland. S can stop it. S stop it. Just behave. You go. You. Um, diplomacy. Yeah. Uh, I I want to uh, cancel my military access. Thank you. Order has been restored. Gain a free stability and free fifty prestige. Thank you. That's actually very good. All the roses. Conflict uh, that many people have long seen coming. Our peoples must be safely shepherded through this period, which I've done. Gets royal line for fifteen years. Yearly legitimacy plus one. Aggressive expansion impact minus ten. I wish I'd had that first. Control the state religion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my military advisor is dead. Uh, reinforced speed guy is actually going to be quite useful right now. I'll get you guys to go over to Chester, where I will. Gather everyone up, delete all my mercs, and rebuild everything. The rise of a dynasty. With the final battle now won, the War of the Roses, as it will come to be known, is at an end. We must now decide how to proceed to strengthen our position at home and abroad. Even now there are whispers of potential usurpers, including the return from exile of the ambitious Henry Tudor. It might be prudent, therefore, to reconcile our two houses in matrimony. Uh, historically, they did, and I don't think I want more rebellions. So, uh, gain a stability, gain Henry Tudor with a strong claim of English heritage, comes a new heir, age 24. And that, I think, would be Henry VII, I believe. Or have I got Henry VII now? Uh, I've got Charles I now, so yeah, it'll be Henry VII. Um, he's actually pretty good, and pretty decent. Um, yeah. So, all in all, actual mercs. Delete all the mercs. All in all, this hasn't been too bad. Um, considering what it could have been. Rather than lose a county, we gained a much better county. I mean, um, Henry is now... Thanks. Thanks, man. Um, just made you the air. And you're already fucking up. So, rather than lose a... Um, a county with 16 development we gained another 16 development. so we basically doubled the development that we would have lost um, so we gained we've done nothing but made gains just not as much as I would like and I do have a Cassus Belli against France to uh, force a union on them to take the capital of Paris and force a union right now no one will come in but you never know I might be able to do it on my own uh, so far, so good. Oh. Second, third time you hear people laughing at you and they can't hear them. After you've asked around for more than a bit, you finally manage to get an answer out of a chambermaid. It appears that your heir has been running around town in a most unchristian fashion, and your family is now becoming the laughing stock of Europe. Henry, for pity's sake. Um, claim strength there, minus ten? Fine with me. I'd rather keep the... Uh, I will maintain over there. Do I have a marriage with Austria? No, I'll do that now. Uh, just as uh, we have 10 seconds left of the recording. We'll go towards the end. Um, geez, not enough manpower. What are my loans like? 
Oh boy. We have a total, total loan of a lot. 709 in debt. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching through to the end of the War of the Roses. We have taken more of Northern France, and uh, I think things are going well. Could definitely be going better. Uh, Burgundy hates me, and in my last game, I still have them as a very valuable ally all the way up until like 1690. So uh, I just basically use them as a buffer to get beaten up. But also in my other game, I've taken all the coast off of France, and they're just a little blue bob just there that I've sort of kept around as a kicking, uh, as a kickball. But I'm going to try and force a union on them in the next war. Um, so my challenge will be to get Britain into fighting shape by the time that happens. Um, they've got a 424, so they will likely get up to the military tech uh, pretty quick as well. They are negative prestige, I think, because they lost a battle to me. Uh, and we have managed to go from fourth to third over the Ottomans in military power. Um, our army is nothing, just it's dead. But our navy is third in the world compared to the Ottomans of Venice, and that's only because they just spam galleys in the Mediterranean. They don't have any heavy ships, so if they were to ever come out here, I think we would completely school them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and also Patreon things, I suppose, even though I don't have a Patreon. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a lovely evening, and remember, I love you all.